tutorial i am going to show you that is rather than explain you what is plx sql or someone uh, some of them pronounce it as pl sql so what is pl sql <coughs> so let's begin with this video pl sql stands for procedural language and standard query language uh, it is one of the significant member of oracle programming tool set extensively it is used for coding server side programming it is a uh, case insensitive programming language as mysql plsql blocks so what are blocks in plsql plsql blocks are the basic programming units in plsql programming language means there are specific blocks within which a specific codes or uh, conditions are being written which are executed when you run the plsql code so let's understand exactly deeply what is plsql blocks plsql blocks are being divided into two 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 parts anonymous block and name block so let's begin what are an, uh, further the anonymous block and name blocks are being divided into three types uh, declaration sec section execution section and exception handling section means the anonymous block as well as the name block are being divided into three types that is declaration section execution section and exception handling section these are not the types rather they are the parts of a complete program so we will understand what are these different sections in brief uh, further uh, this is the prototype of anonymous block as you can see declare begin exceptions and end declare within the declare state within the declare block you need to specify a declaration statements as we specify in the object oriented programming such as java or c c++ the variables or constants are being declared in the declare declare section begin the begin contains the executable statements which contains the logic exact conditions that we specify means what the code is you going to perform that all statements are being included in within the begin section now comes the exception section exception section contains the uh, normal exception handling statements such as if else uh, sorry for uh, sorry not if else such as try catch yeah now let understand let us understand in brief what is exactly a declaration declaration section declaration section is the first section of plsql block it contains a definition of plsql identifier such as variables constants and curses as we declare the variables in other programming languages in the declare section yeah that's all constituted in the declaration section uh, now the declaration section also contains local variables which are being used or defined in the program always the declaration starts declaration section starts with the declare keyword uh, sorry yeah the next section is the execution section it contains all the executable statements that are being written within the plsql code uh, the execution section always begins with the keyword begin and ends with the keyword end remember this be specific about this otherwise it will throw an error uh, it is the mandatory section of the plsql block and remember declaration section as well as the exception handling sections are the optional sections of the plsql block whereas the execution section is the mandatory section of the plsql block all the DL, dml commands and sql plus built in functions are being uh, specified or described in this execution section now comes the exception handling section the exception handling section is the last section of the plsql block it is the optional section just i mentioned as declaration section but remember the execution section is the mandatory section yeah contain uh, the exception handling section contains the statements that are being executed uh, when a runtime error occurs so whenever the error occurs during the runtime in your plsql blocks the exception that will be thrown will be specified in the exception handling section yeah that's all thank you for any queries regarding the plsql basics and concepts please do comment in the comment box and do subscribe to my channel stay tuned for for the videos on oracle plsql further i'm going to upload videos on how to basics such as basics of oracle plsql programming language so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video thanks a lot